All right, so I've got my location, which is actually obviously way off to the left and a little high to be on the white reflector that's behind it. So I'm going to come around to the opposite side. I've got my photo cell here. You can see it's still red because it's not aligned. And I'm going to take my small screwdriver out of my emergency kit. Take the small screwdriver out of the emergency ball detect kit. And, alright, so the beam is actually pointing on the opposite side. It's to the left side of my reflector. So I would want to tighten this exterior screw, the single one, in the middle. As you, as you tighten it, it's going to move. It's going to draw the photo cell, which is inside the housing, the right side of the photo cell towards the front of the box which in all actuality if this is the beam coming out is going to tip the beam to the right or to to its right your left of the screen so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I've done it a couple times so just kind of estimating how much I need to do it I think I'm gonna do it one full turn or actually a half of a turn and then I'm gonna test it on the other side Set you back up over here, and we'll see how much it has moved off of this spot. I'll get you where you can see the photo cell red light as well, the indicator. So I've got the same old marks from before from where it was. I'm going to take my card and slide it across. Okay, so you can see it moved about half the distance. So this whole square has moved over to this section right in here now. So I'm going to do another full turn, another half turn, so it's actually one whole turn, probably like I should have done in the first place. Alright, and now we're going to see where that's at. Okay, so now I've got the edge of it is right here. Now I'm going to check from the other direction where it's at. All right, we're almost there. I'm going to do about a, one more one more half turn on this screw. All right. So there's the edge, the leftmost edge of the beam. Now I want to see where the rightmost edge of the beam is. Still, I'd like to get a little bit more. So now, I believe I, I've uh, I'll take it one more quarter turn on that screw. And let's see what that does for us. All right, there's that side of the beam. This looks like it's gonna be right. And there's the edge of that. So I've got it covering, basically from left to right this whole reflect once I move the reflect once I remove the cover that reflector should be taking care of everything should be zeroed in but I'd like a little more I'm just not I guess I'm splitting hairs um, I'm, now what I'm going to do instead of tightening the front screw pull you back over here Instead of tightening the front screw, I'm going to equally loosen both of these screws that are closer to the kick plate. I'm going to loosen them probably about a quarter turn because I want the beam to turn move equally. If you just do one or the other, it's going to tip the beam up or down. So now let's go back and see what we got. Alright, so there's the edge of one, of the, my left side of the beam. Let's check the edge of the right side. Okay, I like that a lot better. It at least gets onto this wood some, so I know it's really got that reflector right in the center. But now I'm not satisfied with my up and down. I see how high we are. Okay, now, so I'm kind of high. I'm about, 
I'm only getting three quarters of this reflector. I can tell where it's at because I can see the metal uh, fastened to the kick plate. I only got about three quarters of this reflector in it. I'm zeroed up from left to right, but I'm not zeroed up top to bottom. So now the way you do that is you'd want to adjust your the two screws on the side. Sorry to keep taking you back and forth. Now you'd want to adjust the two screws that are the top and the bottom here. Uh, I need to bring my beam down, so I would want to, as you tighten, if you tighten the top, you're going to draw the, the photo cell into the housing, which would tip it down. Or if you, uh, loose, same as if you loosen the bottom, it would push the inside of the photo cell to the back of the housing, which would lower it down. So I need to bring my beam down, so I'm going to start by tightening this upper one about a quarter turn, probably about a half. I'm going to do a half turn and uh, I'll probably leave the bottom one alone just for now just to see what that does. It may tweak my left to right a little bit but I want to see first before I start making any major changes. Let me get you in where you can see the, the beam. Alright, so now I'm going to check my left side, see if it messed it up too much. No, it's pretty good there. Check out my right still good. I'm just on that wood a little bit. Now I'm going to come up from the bottom. Alright, I still need to bring it down. I'm going to leave you positioned here and I'm going to adjust it some more. I'm going to, to bring it down, I'm going to tighten that top screw some more. Probably about a half turn and I'm going to actually back the bottom screw out a quarter turn. All right, I can't back the bottom screw out because it is just flush with the surface. So I'm going to have to work more with my top screw than my bottom. So let me see where I'm at again. I'm almost there. Let me try one more top turn. I'm going to turn the top screw a half. Okay, so that brought me way down. I'm good for covering the reflector at the bottom. I'm still good at the top. Let me check my left to right again. Okay, so since I just tightened that top screw, you can see it kicked me way out to the side again. And I want to get... Um, I've come down, but I also came over. So I want to get it back that direction again. So I'm going to tighten the... what would be the the single one on the outside edge of the housing for the photo cell. I am tightening it in, which should push it that way. I'm going to tighten it a half a turn. Let's see. That's pretty good. It's got me at least past the edge of this wood with my beam. There, my bottom, it's, it's clearly past the bottom of this reflector. And my top's going to be a little high because it's a big beam. But at least I've got the entire reflector inside that, that beam, the, the actual target area. So now once I pull the cover off, you'll see the red light on the, in the side of your screen just disappear because it should be centered up. And that's how you would zero in that photo cell on that reflector.